as I was searching on the web, I had one of those moments where you just see something and you think, man, that is cool. I would love to get my hands on that. That was the case with this item here. Let me introduce you to this item. This is the Guardfather Out the Front Ice Pick. That's right. I was looking at it and it reminded me of kind of an upgraded version of the Kubotan. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Kubotan, it's basically a self-defense kind of item that is usually attached to like a keychain that is meant for close quarters meant for stabbing puncture wounds and you see variations of this from different companies in the form of tactical pens I thought this is pretty cool this is something you could actually have as an everyday carry item it looks just like a pen on the surface but it actually functions kind of like the Kubotan and the tactical pens it's not quite as long it doesn't have the ability like the tactical pens to actually be used as a writing instrument but in my opinion it does have an edge as far as intimidation factor I mean look at this if you saw that someone pull that out and point that at you would you really want to go after them I mean I don't know about you, but if someone pulled that on me and I had never seen this before, I would definitely hesitate for at least a second or two going, what is that? That is ridiculous. That just looks evil and mean. I don't know if I want to trust myself up against that. So that was my initial impression on this. I looked into it further and they're pretty inexpensive. I was looking on uniqueblade.com and they have them at least at this current time for about $22.95 down from $24.95 which if you ask me is a pretty good deal so obviously there are some legality issues as far as the different states that allow or don't allow you to carry something like this so for those who are interested in this I would first recommend before you do anything else check into your state laws make sure that it's legal for you to carry this last thing anybody wants is to get busted because they didn't know and honestly ignorance of the law is not going to be a good enough defense when you're brought into court so first off make sure this is legal for you to be carrying around second make sure it's something you're actually going to be able to use and use proficiently if you think you're better off with a tactical pen, go with the tactical pen. However, for me, I like the idea that it's inconspicuous. It doesn't have all those cool little ridges and grip designs. Someone who knows what a tactical pen looks like is going to look for that and going to know right off the back, hey, that is a tactical pen. So the nice thing is, since it's 440C steel, it's actually going to be fairly strong and fairly wear resistant. The nice thing is it's also going to be fairly stain resistant as well. The handle material here is going to be hard anodized aluminum. So it's the same material you're going to see in a lot of flashlight housing. It's going to be able to take a heavy beating. It's going to be able to take abuse, bounce back, and not give in. So that's going to be nice. So that's going to help out with durability just looking at it on the surface isn't going to be good enough so what do you say we take this out and give this a good old-fashioned den torture test and put it through its paces let's go still holding next We've got a DVD player that doesn't work anymore. So, what better use than to stab it? Let's try it. No deformation on the tip. And we'll try good old fashioned thrust.
locks up just fine. Still working. Tip's getting a little dirty, but it doesn't seem to really be phased all that much. Let's see how the DVD player fared. So this is the DVD player. As you can see, the guard father had no issues penetrating the initial layer, but it didn't have enough force for me to actually make it through. There's not honestly enough force, I don't think, from a, most humans that would go through this all the way. But still, that's impressive. Now in the event that you can't actually stab with this and you're just trying to make a quick slash at someone, let's see how well this does just uh, against cardboard with just a normal slash. So as you can see, it'll leave a mark in flesh. So let's try slashing against the DVD player's metal housing. So as you can see, it's doing some surface damage to metal. However, the cardboard is a little bit more accurate to what it would be doing in human tissue. As you can see though, the tip's not really getting all that deformed. Still not really any deformation. So we've completed the stabbing and the slashing portion. Now we're going to test it first against asphalt and then against a concrete slab. One, two, three. Still holding. The clip popped loose, but it snaps back in place, so not a big deal. Below at my feet here is a concrete slab, and we're going to test it out. Slam it as hard as I can into the concrete slab. See if this locking mechanism fails at all. One, two, three. Still locking up. Give it another shot. One, two, three. So as you can see, those are the three impact points on the concrete. It actually made it into the concrete, but not very far, which isn't very surprising. So one thing to note after doing those tests, since the tip has actually lost some metal to it with the torture tests that we've been doing, it has made it a little bit harder to actually close. Normally, when you close this, you press down the button and shove it up against a hard, flat surface quickly. Normally, that works, but since the tip has actually lost some material to it, it actually requires a sort of material that will actually push in a little into the opening here to get it to click in. But, it's still locking. So, considering most people are not going to be using this to bash it into asphalt and concrete, I don't see this really being an issue. So to test out the durability of the housing, I'm also going to be running over the Guardfather with this Chevy Suburban. Let's see how it holds up. So as you can see, nothing actually happened to the housing. It's pretty untouched, considering that Suburban ran it over. Let's see if it still works. Yep, still works. As you can see, though it's starting to fade, that test lets you know that that is in fact the same Guardfather I started out with. So, 
I would have to say I'm impressed. As you can see, the Guardfather is ridiculously durable. Not only did I smash the tip into sheet metal cardboard and slash into sheet metal and cardboard, but I also slammed the tip into asphalt, hard concrete, and then I ran the whole housing over with a Suburban. This thing survived all the tests. There was disfiguration to the tip, but still, at the end of it, you could still easily puncture human flesh with that tip without any issues. Like I said earlier, UniquePlade.com seems to have the cheapest price, and for the money, I'd say it's excellent. So if you're looking for something like this and you're wanting an alternative to a tactical pen or a Kubitan, I would definitely look at getting the Guardfather out the front ice pick. Thanks for watching. This is Destroyer, signing off.